Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome to an all new series on the channel. Sundays, we have videos now. We are going to be doing some out of the park baseball 16 franchise mode. Now, if the title and the thumbnail didn't give it away, we are going to be starting up a Minnesota Twins franchise, and I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this, and I hope you guys are too watching it. So, uh, basically, um, before I actually get started and start the whole team, this series um, is going to be a lot more in depth. I did a previous OOTP 16 franchise before the San Diego Padres franchise came out, as that was the Seattle Mariners franchise. I kind of rushed that one, and especially towards the end when the OSFM rosters came out. So basically what I'm trying to say is this one is not going to be rushed. This is going to be a um, longer series. I'm not sure how many episodes. But our goal is to just rebuild the Twins. They already have a lot of good pieces, but just kind of put those pieces into play, maybe add a few more, and get them back to the playoffs. And then, of course, the ultimate goal, win the World Series. So that is what we're going to do. I plan on making the episodes no more than 15 minutes long. I feel like... Um, Less than 10 is fine, but you know, for these ones, it's gonna be you know pretty long, and I'm, I'm gonna have to do some editing. So my goal is to not let them go over 15 minutes. Um, of course, that would be give or taking a couple of minutes. So if it's 17 minutes, don't get mad at me. But I definitely don't want like a 20 minute plus video because that's pretty boring. So enough of that stuff. Let's go ahead, get into this Twins franchise, and I will see you guys in a sec once I have everything set up. Okay, guys. So. We are ready to go with the Twins, just created our profile, game save, whatever you want to call it. And we are here on the main menu. Now if you're not familiar with this game, um, it is basically just a uh, simulation type game. There's really no gameplay. Um, there is a part where you can go and play a game, but that's just you simulating in a radio play-by-play -play style um, each play of the game. So you're not going to see physical gameplay, you might see some simulation of gameplay, but really um, what I'm going to be doing mostly is doing trades, managerial stuff, um, and then simming, you know, by the month or whatever and seeing our progress. But we will play, or when I say play, I mean simulate in depth um, important games like opening day. Um, if we have, um, I guess, the couple, the last couple games in the season, um, I'll simulate. But it's it's not like I control. Like I can I can tell them what to do but I'm still simulating it, so it's still, the result is still out of my control. So basically, the only thing you would get that is good from simulating um, in depth with those games is the fact that you can see exactly what happens instead of just a basic score. So we'll be simulating important games in depth, um, like opening day, maybe the last couple games of the season, if it's close, um, and of course, all, all the playoff games. All right, so here are the team finances. You can see we don't have the most amount of money we are tied for 19th um, as far as budget goes but we do have 20 million for free agents which is good and we do have 6 million for extensions that's you know re-signing players for more years now our attendance not the best that could be because of our poor play lately but um yeah personal info here's this that's not my real birthday we're around 50 years old 49 actually I don't even know why I didn't look at that and um, reputation unproven, obviously. Current team, twins, obviously. We're getting paid 300000 a year for four years. That's not that much, actually. Um, but that's probably because it's our first year managing, and we will see how we will do. So, opening day is already here. Um, I don't think we're going to do that this episode. I think we're going to do that next episode, because this episode is all about looking at the team and what we have to do. So here are the league news. We're going to have a lot of things in here eventually once we start simming the season. Um, trades and stuff that's happening around the league and with our team. Right now it just says that we got hired. We're going to have a lot of pressure. And apparently I said, I'm going to be busy. That's for sure. So that is that. Uh, we also have some goals, I believe, from our owner. It says, Matt, welcome to the Minnesota Twins organization. I trust that our working relation will be a good one. I will submit some new goals each year that I would like to see you accomplish, as well as winning on the field and turning a profit. Completing these goals is the best way to keep me happy. First goal, don't suck completely this season. I think that's somewhat decent. Um, that means that we don't necessarily need to make the playoffs, but um, as long as we don't finish like bottom 10, I think we're gonna be good. Upgrade at third base. 
Um, who do we have at third base? I am not sure right now. We'll have to look, but obviously it's not good. So we have to require or upgrade at third base this season. Next goal is to acquire a nationally popular player. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that through playing this game. So we'll have to find one of those. And the last goal, keep building your team up in order to reach the playoffs in the next five seasons. So within the next five seasons, we have to make the playoffs. That sounds doable. Um, in real life, the Twins are actually doing pretty good right now. We have, um, well, in real life, they called up Byron Buxton. I don't know if I'm going to do that right away. And we might do that a couple months into the season, just like in real life. But um, no one expected them to be this good. So we'll see. I doubt this game will be very kind to us because this game tends to simulate very weird. Um, we look at like MLB The Show and, you know, sometimes it's messed up, the simulation engine. But for the most part, you get the good teams like LA and Washington. They're always making the World Series, either winning it or losing it. But they're always at the top like they should be. This game is completely different. One year you could have the standings, they could be whatever they are. The next year it could be completely opposite. So you could have the Rangers, the Texas Rangers at the top of the AL West. Uh, one year they could go all the way and then the next year they'd finish bottom of division. So the simulation engine on this game just from experience is not perfect. So even when you, when you have a very good team like I did when I was doing the Seattle Mariners franchise, um, you may not necessarily play well so we'll have to see there that's gonna be interesting let's go ahead and take a look at the team alright guys so here we are with the pitching staff of the Minnesota Twins we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it by the way again if you're not familiar with this game they basically rank everyone by stars there's no overall numbers there is just stars and for potential it's also stars so he has Phil Hughes has a two star potential and he's already two stars so he's not gonna get too much better he's 28 years old a righty 6'5 240 and you can see last year he went 16 and 10 with a 3.52 ERA, which isn't bad. He did win 16 games, but then again he lost 10. Um, the year four in New York, it was awful. He went 4 and 14 with a 5.19 ERA. So compared to 2013, this 2014 season wasn't too bad. Hopefully he can, um, I guess, win, keep the win total there, but lose the games lost a little bit this year. Next pitcher, Irvin Santana, three-star potential, three-star overall. He's getting a little older. 32 years old, he's a righty. Last year with Atlanta, he went um, 14 and 10, so not bad. 14 wins, again though, 10 losses. That's good though, I'll take that. Um, but a 3.95 ERA, hopefully he can lower that just a bit as he is a righty. Ricky Nolasco, also a righty, also 32. And he is a half star overall, half star potential, so he's not. Uh, too good as he was with us last year. Went 6 and 12 with a 5.38 ERA. So pitching staff looking a little shaky so far. Um, Kyle Gibson, half star potential, half star overall. Last year went 13 and 12 with a 4.47 ERA. Again, like I say with the simulation and all that stuff, um, it's necessary. Not necessarily about the overall. It should be. You think with a half star overall, he wouldn't be too good, but. You know, he won 13 games last year, so just because he has a half overall doesn't mean he's awful. It just means that he's not necessarily the best. Next pitcher, Tommy Malone, which means he's the only lefty in our rotation, who is also a half-star potential, half-star overall. Um, he was with Oakland. He went 6-3 and three last year. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he was with Minnesota last year. He was in 16 games with Oakland last year. He went 6-3 with the 3.55 ERA, and then when he came over to Minnesota, he went 0-1 through six games with a 7.06 ERA, so I'm um, definitely hoping he plays more like he did in Oakland than he did with us last year. Okay, so here is the lineups for the your Minnesota Twins. Let's get right into it. Jordan Schaefer leading off left fielder, 2.5 star overall, 2.5 star potential, so he's not going to get too much better. 28-year-old, he's a lefty leading off last year with Atlanta. And Minnesota, he split time. He hit 285 with us. That's good. That was through 41 games. With 63 games with Atlanta, he hit 163. Next, we have hitting second. Probably the most popular person on the team besides Torrey Hunter. First baseman, Joe Maurer. He's getting a little older. You see last year, 277. Not too bad. His you know, production isn't like it used to be uh, three, four years ago. 
but he does have a three-star potential with the three-star overall. He's first baseman. Batting third, Arcia. He is probably one of the best people on our team, also with the best potential. He's 23 years old, five-star potential, already a four-star overall. So he is going to be good. You can see uh, we called him up last year from AAA, I believe. He was hitting 312. He hit 231 with us through 103 games. So that is definitely good to see. Um, now we just got to see if we can continue that, but definitely deserving of that three spot. He is the DH. Pinto, also a very good player, four and a half star potential. He's a four star, and he hits 219 with us last year. Also called him up, uh, had about 50 50 split for his season last year between AAA and um, MLB. He hit 279 in AAA and 219 in the MLB. Number five hitter, we brought back Tory Hunter. Two-star potential, two-star overall, 39. He's probably going to retire in the next couple of years, so not going to go crazy over him. He did hit 286 last year with Detroit, and then 304 with that, and then 313 like, before that. But at the same time, I mean, he's, it's 286, but you can see he went from 313 to 286 in just two years. So his production is going down. That's, you know, obviously a given because he's getting older. Like, like I said, he's probably going to retire soon. So if he can uh, produce a little bit this year. That would be good. Maybe mentor some of our younger players. That would also be good. Um, Trevor Plouffe, um, 28 years old, 2.5 star potential, 2.5 star overall. Last year with us, he hit 258 year before, 254, so not bad. Aaron Hicks in the 7 hole last year got called up, hit 215 with us. Three and a half star potential, half star or one and a half star overall. Brian Dozier also got some potential, three star potential, three star overall. Is 27 righty, 5'10. Last year he hit 242 with us. I believe he was an All Star as well. And then obviously uh, Danny Santana, who is one of the better, um, more promising guys that we are bringing up with a four and a half star potential and a four star overall. Last year he played a little bit. He hit 319 through 101 games so I don't know maybe we'll have to move him up but we will see yeah I'm really excited to start this franchise guys please leave a like if you enjoy this and you want more as we will now have OOTP franchises on Sunday I hope you guys all enjoy if you did again drop a like make sure to subscribe for more and as always peace